Hello, welcome to a new episode of video tutorials by tutorialspedia.com. In this video tutorial, I will be explaining the usage of Java custom function. Java custom function is a shared resource available in Java palette, which is used to create custom functions based on the code written in Java class. These functions then become available in the list of functions which can be used in the XPath editor. So in this tutorial, I will take a simple scenario and I will uh, use a simple Java class with one method, a public static method, which can be used then later in the XPath uh, while developing the process. So before I proceed with the actual development inside our uh, TIPCO BW project, let me show you the classes that I'm going to use. So the class that I'm using, uh, I have already written the Java code. The simple Java code, as you can see here, there is a class, I have named it public class uh, with the name magic. And inside this class, there is a static uh, method get magic message, which is uh, returning a string and expecting a integer as an input. So this simple uh, method is doing uh, nothing but just sending back a message based on the input value. So if the marks, which is an integer value sent uh, as a parameter to this uh, method is less than 33, I am just returning that you are doomed. And if it's greater than 33, that is in otherwise case, I'm sending the message as a return value, you are done. So it's important to understand that a method uh, which can be uh, made a part of Java custom function activity or a palette uh, and is available in the XPath editor must fulfill certain uh, conditions. One of the condition is that it should be a static method and it should be a public method. And another important thing is that it should be returning some value. It cannot have a return type as void. So once all these conditions are fulfilled uh, by a method in a Java public class, it can be at imported uh, into our uh, TIPCO BW project using the Java custom function uh, shared resource, and then we can make use of it. So once uh, uh, you, you understand this class, uh, as you can see here, I have uh, uh, converted it into a dot class as well using the compiler. So you can use any compiler. For my case, what I did is that uh, I used uh, command based uh, compiler using the Java C. I just converted the Java dot Java uh, file into a class class file. So once we have the class available now, I proceed towards the actual project and I have already created a project here and the project is named as uh, Java custom functions. Of course, you can name it anything. So the first thing that we need to do is that we need to add a Java custom function uh, act, uh, activity, which is available in the Java uh, palette, as you can see here. So I go into the class location and I'm going to select the class that I have to use. My class is uh, uh, in the Java code folder, which is and created on the C drive. So I select the class and notice that the class data is showing none because I haven't uh, loaded it. I have selected the class, but I haven't loaded it yet. So once I will click the load option here, load button here, the class will be loaded into the tip code designer and it will be showing the bytes uh, that is the size of that class. So once I load it, you can see here it's showing 637 bytes, which is the size of that class. Another important thing is that this suggested prefix. This prefix is basically going to be uh, used as a name of the folder uh, when uh, we will be choosing the class uh, method uh, in our XPath editor. In our XPath editor, when we, uh, we go for selection of a function, the functions are displayed in a hierarchy of the folder. So if we don't give any name here in the suggested prefix, this folder will have no value, no name. So we should give some name. Let's suppose uh, I gave it a simple name like uh, magic because the class name is also same. So this is the name I'm giving it. Once I've done this, now I'm going to create a new process where I'm going to utilize the method which is available in this uh, class. So let's create a new process uh, from the process palette and I name it like test custom function. You can give it any name, of course. So I open it. I'm not going to do any rocket science here. I'm going to make it as simple as possible just to make you understand the usage of Java uh, custom function. 
Okay, so let's start uh, uh, developing this process in which we are going to invoke that uh, method which has already been imported. So the process uh, that I've created, I'm going to add a mapper here, just a simple mapper from the general activities palette. Uh, I'm using the mapper because I will be assigning the value that I receive as an output or as a uh, output parameter of that method to the uh, to up uh, to a uh, variable here. So let me simply uh, put the transitions here. And in this mapper, in the input editor, I want to create a new simple element of type string and return message. I'm giving the name to this string. And now in the input, as I was telling you earlier that in the XPath editor, actually we are going to utilize the function or the method of Java class that we have imported. So I go to the XPath editor here, our XPath formula builder. And now once XPath formula builder is open, you will observe in the functions that the new function that we added, the magic folder and inside the magic folder get magical message that method has been added here so it is now available along with all the other built-in messages uh, built-in methods which are part of the designer like uh, several string methods date method number methods and other kind of methods so this method that we have added is going to be called here so i select it here as it's expecting an integer or a double as an input so i'm going it going to give it some value uh, as uh, i explained you uh, while discussing the class that i've written that if the value is less than 33 the message should be something like uh, you are doomed and if it's greater than 33 the ma return message should be uh, you are done so i'm giving the value 50 here so now let's uh, see what output we will be receiving we should be receiving the output you are done so i'm going to save it and now I load the process in the designer tester and as you can see the process has run successfully. Let's go to the map data output and what is the output that we have received. As you can see here the return message is you are done because the value that we gave as an input was 50 which was more than 33. So this is how you can uh, call the methods from a class which has been imported using the Java custom function. This was a very simple example. Of course, uh, doing the practical nature projects, you will have very complex and uh, sophisticated type of uh, methods available, but uh, the underlying mechanism will remain same and you will uh, be utilizing the class methods in the exactly same manner. Hope you liked this tutorial. If you have any feedback or if you have any questions, feel free to contact me through tutorialspedia.com. And also, if you like this video, please press the up button uh, on this video so that I know that you are liking and you are benefiting from my tutorial. Thank you very much.